вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn how to create dynamic water stream that will follow any source you like. And if you're my Patreon, you'll get not only the project files, you'll also get all the procedural materials for this scene. So you will able to create your own cartoony look effects. And before we start, just if you want to thank me for my efforts doing all these tutorials for you in my free time, you can become my patron. And starting only from $5, you will get all the tutorials project files, advanced tutorials parts, and some of my digital products for free that will save you a lot of time and efforts. And if you want even more, check my art station market, where you can find amazing textures for everyday use that you can just drag and drop on your models, advanced tutorials videos with the project files included and game ready models that you can use immediately. So be my patron to get all these bonuses. And remember that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is very important now. So first of all, let's create plane as a surface, then create null and place it in a tab, play this null in a spot where water starts to leak, and rename this null as point zero. Create a simple spline from two points, then cut one more point in the middle. We'll need it for a future. Name this spline a stream and put it in a sweep. Then put in a sweep also a circle, change the radius to 10, change spline intermediate points to uniform, put this sweep in a null and call it water. After put displacement effector inside this water null, set noise as a shader. In the noise parameters, you need to change global scale, set movement direction to minus 1 on Y and speed as 0.5%. Then you need to add smoothing effector and put it below displacer. Go back to spline and let's increase the number parameter to 32. Then let's tweak a smoothing parameter a bit. If we will play the animation, we will see this effect. Now the water is running. The next step is to make dynamic stream. So what we want is while we move in our tap, the water stream must move with it but with a bended curve and with a slight delay of endpoint. So we need to create null and call it expresso, then add expresso tag on it, then let's drag out stream spline as an object, point zero null also, and let's turn off sweep and smoothing and displacement effects for now. Go to window and find the structure manager. If you will select the stream spline, you will see the index of each point it consists of. So upper is zero, middle is one, and the last is two. So let's search for a point node. In stream node, set object as an output and link it to the point node. Make sure in the point node we have point index as zero. And here zero means our upper point. Then in point node, add point position in the input. In point zero node, you need to add global position to the output and then link it to the point position. So for now, we have this effect. Let's duplicate the point node, make sure the index set to 1 now, set same stream spline as an object, then drag out vector to reels and reels to vector nodes. Link point zero position to vector to reels input, then link x and z parameters, then link output and point position. Find constant node and link it to the y vector. In constant node, you need to set the y position of your middle point. It must be somewhere in between of first and last one. We'll have this result for now. Now you need to duplicate point node one more time and make sure the index set to 2 now. Duplicate our whole vector structure, set point 0 as a input, duplicate constant node. Here you can copy and paste y parameters from structure manager to value and link it to the y vector. Object of the point will be same stream spline. And if we will put these vectors to point position, we will get this result. But to have this bendy look of the water stream, we need to add memory node. Set history depth as 8, type as vector, and history level as 7. Now link vectors to input of the memory node and memory to the point position of the point node. And we have this result now, almost what we want to. But still we have a sharp angle while it's bending. By the way, playing with the memory depths and history level, you can make this delay effect stronger or weaker. But I will leave old numbers. The final step is to change type of our spline to B-spline. And now we have effect we wanted to. Now the water stream will dynamically react to the tap movement. Now we can turn back on the effectors and displacers and enjoyed our cold fresh water. And that's it, don't forget that my patrons will get not only the project files, but also the absolutely procedural materials to get this cartoony look. Also big thanks to my patrons, Ahmed Aldi and Anthony Tudisco. Thank you guys, I really appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial as me and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more interesting videos that are coming. And remember, все Ukraina.